Jeff Leo is a former MPP representing Peterborough from 2003 to 2018. So Jeff, uh, why don't you tell me a bit about your relationship with John and how you knew him? Sure, and, and, and also Sebastian, just for the record, I was a city councilor from 1985 to, to 2003. So I had uh, over three decades of, uh, of public service. So um, I, got to, um, I got to know John and, uh, his, and his colleagues uh, after um, uh, I became uh, the member of provincial parliament for the riding of Peterborough in 2003. I'd certainly been aware, um, you know, as part of the uh, of the community and and growing up uh, uh, with GE families and being part of that, uh, that there were certainly a, a number of WSIB cases uh, that were being um, uh, processed, uh, particularly uh, Sebastian for uh, uh, various uh, various forms of cancer. And as the science and data uh, were advancing, um, there was uh, uh, sufficient evidence uh, uh, to, uh, to certainly indicate that uh, if one was uh, exposed to a number of carcinogens, uh, there was a, uh, a direct link uh, to the type of cancer uh, that developed uh, in many individuals uh, sadly took their lives uh, and or suffering for uh, very long periods of time. And so Sebastian, as uh, uh, I became, as I said, the MPP in 2003, uh, I uh, became much more aware of the extent of the cases uh, that John Ball was uh, and, and colleagues uh, were working with. John, of course, had a long career uh, at uh, Canadian General Electric, as it was called, up until uh, probably uh, the mid-1980s when then the Canadian board was dissolved and it became uh, GE, GE Peterborough. Um, and he, um, he did a significant amount of, of work. Uh, uh, he was uh, uh, quite a detective, so to speak, uh, in that he did uh, an extensive uh, a map uh, of the GE plant, identified where, where, in, in, where employees were working with certain materials, where certain materials was, uh, were stored, and uh, that data and that science uh, that he put together uh, really uh, uh, became an important uh, baseline uh, as, uh, as cases uh, were coming before the WSIB uh, to, get them, uh, to get them adjudicated. So did you get much of a chance to work closely with John? Uh, they, uh, John his colleagues, uh, uh, Heather Brooks-Hill, Don McConnell, uh, who you'll get to uh, uh, know uh, more about as you, as you do your work. Uh, certainly uh, we were meeting uh, on a regular basis and, and John knew my late father. Uh, so I, you know, there was that connection and I, you know, I grew up uh, uh, with all these, uh, uh, families uh, that had uh, mothers and fathers that worked at GE. Uh, so it was, uh, in many ways, it was very personal for me too. Mm, of course. Um, so in, in your work with John or um, in the time that you knew him, what quality in him impressed you the most? John was, uh, first of all, he was a very objective individual, uh, Sebastian, I think. Uh, you know, he could see, uh, I think he could see both sides of the issue. Uh, he was a man of uh, impeccable uh, integrity. And um, John was a man that was really interested uh, in uh, bringing justice and, and closure for individuals and families, which I think is, is extremely, extremely important to this. So a lot of people contributed to this movement forward um, with this issue. Um, yeah, I mean, you truly, uh, Sebastian, I've always been a person that believes you truly stand on the shoulders of others. Mm -hmm, of course. And what impact do you think John brought to the table in, in terms of achieving justice for workers? If I could use that analogy, standing on the, the shoulders of others, John Ball had very broad shoulders that held up an awful lot of individuals to move uh, these files forward. That's beautiful. Um, 
if I could just share a bit of a, uh, a personal side, I mean, uh, John certainly encouraged me to make a uh, submission on behalf of my own father, uh, but I never did that because I just, I, I, I never thought it was appropriate. But working with John uh, uh, and, and uh, you know, Minister Flynn, uh, I had the sense of optimism uh, that we were finally were going to get uh, to that presumptive framework uh, which would have brought uh, both closure and justice for a lot of families or individuals in, in, in Peterborough. And ultimately, for uh, workers, uh, uh, Sebastian, right across the province of Ontario. Because when you look at the, the Ontario landscape, um, there are a lot of, uh, of manufacturing operations that use some of the similar uh, materials that are identified as carcinogens, uh, in, in many other communities across, across Ontario and indeed Canada. Well, Jeff, thank you so much for taking the time to do this interview. I really appreciated the chance to speak with you. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it was helpful, uh, Sebastian. Absolutely.